Namaste. Today is May 6, 2020. We're continuing doing the healings and blessings to help raise the consciousness of humanity and mitigate the negative effects of the coronavirus. So we'll start with prayers, doing blessings for humanity, a group healing, and I'll continue um, reading some of the 26 soul qualities out of the Bhagavad Gita. Last week we did um, soul qualities for um, fearlessness. And, and I'm going to do a few more today since you guys left it and requested more. All right. Let's invoke hmm. just breathing into your heart and your crown and taking a moment to feel the divine presence within and without. Thank you, God, Divine Mother, Divine Father, all the great, great ones, spiritual teachers, spiritual elders, angels, saints, helpers, and guides. We thank you. We offer gratitude, love, reverence, and devotion. Thank you for the inner peace Thank you for the love. Let this love permeate every particle of our being, transmuting anything that is not love into love. Thank you for the divine light divine power, mercy, grace, and ease, prosperity, and abundance, greater spiritual oneness and attunement with you, Lord. Guide our every thought, every word, every deed with intuition. Help us to stay as positive and uplifting as we can and be a beacon for your light, your love, your power, your healing in the world. Let us be thy instrument. now and always. May the blessings and positive shifts that are happening globally during this pandemic far outweigh the negative ones. May this divine light and love transmute the planet, transmute humanity, raising our consciousness, raising our vibration, connecting with source. Opening up and aligning with source. having even greater respect for one another and for Mother Earth. May we love thy neighbor. Bless us with a generous heart and generous spirit. 
with plenty, with abundanza, <laughs> with great joy and divine bliss. Help us to keep choosing you, Lord. Keep choosing positivity and to raise a consciousness and vibration within and be that and radiate it out into this beautiful world. Thank you. Amen. Just breathe and bask in that a moment. Let us shift now into blessings and healing for humanity. Hmm. Be aware of your heart, your crown, breathing into both of them. Thinking of a joy-filled moment or a moment of gratitude and letting your heart and your crown get even more activated so more blessings can pour through you. Mm, good. Now imagine a small ball in front of you. This is the earth. <laughs> the earth like a small ball and we are going to bless it. And um, we'll use the great invocation by Holy Master Dual Cool, because I love that one for humanity blessings. So just first raise your hands up and say, Lord, make me thy instrument. Help me to share your blessings, love, light, and healing with this planet, with every person, every day. Now, raise your hands, palms out towards the small earth in front of you. Blessing humanity. From the point of light, Within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the center of the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ and the Great Ones return to Earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the Holy Masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it Seal the door where evil dwells. Seal the door where coronavirus dwells. <laughs> I added that last sentence. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the center of the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ and the great ones return to earth. 
from the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the holy masters know and serve. <sighs> From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light, love, and power restore the plan on earth. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. Literally imagine the earth and every human like lit up with light, divine light. Like you just turned on the light bulb, the switch is on and everyone is aglow with divine light. From the center of the heart of God, let love stream forth into the minds of men. <laughs> let love descend on earth. <laughs> oh, may Christ and the great ones descend on earth. <laughs> let everyone be filled with so much love. Their heart light is on, their love light is on. Love is healing and transmuting anything that isn't love. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men the purpose which the holy masters know and serve. Let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light, love, and power restore the plan on earth. Lord, bless every person, I'm ad-libbing, Lord, bless every person, every being with tremendous light, with tremendous love, with inner healing, healing on all levels healing for their immune systems, healing for their respiratory system, healing their mind, their body, their spirit, healing their soul of soul ignorance. May every person, every, be, every being be blessed with divine sweetness, caringness, and love, with a gentle nature, a generous heart, with compassion, loving kindness. May they apply this loving kindness towards themselves and others. Bless them with spiritual oneness. Bless them with greater attunement and connection with you, God. 
in connection with their higher soul and divine spark. Bless them with so much inner peace, stillness, and quiet that there is peace on earth, peace within, peace without, peace everywhere. And let there be peace. Go ahead and rest your hands, palms up on your lap. Meditate in the peace and stillness for a while. Let yourself go even deeper into stillness and quiet. For it's in this stillness that you can feel, hear, and sense God to a much greater degree. Relax and let go. Good. Now continue with this meditative space and allow yourself to receive deeper healing. I'm going to start group healing formally <laughs> now. Hmm. Lord, may all of their chakras Meridians, subtle bodies, the physical body. Be cleansed, healed, strengthened, rebalanced. Let yourself be enveloped with so much love and light that it transmutes the darkness within. Transmutes aches and pains, transmutes stress, fear, worry, anxiety, transmutes all that no longer serves.
Let yourself feel and be lighter and brighter. Letting your solar plexus be clean and bright and shiny. Letting your heart and your crown get bigger and brighter. Let more soul energy come down and heal you. Let your basic chakra be cleansed and healed and strengthened. This is your prosperity center, your money maker, your place of survival. Let's let it get it clean, healthy, strong, very, very strong. So it will affect your energy and your health. Affirm, I am absorbing, assimilating, and physicalizing the healing energies and blessings now, now, now. Every cell, every particle of my being is absorbing, assimilating, and um, absorbing, assimilating, and physicalizing the healing energies and blessings now, now, now. Now, now, now. Breathe it in. Let every cell be healed. Physically, energetically, your mind, your body, your spirit, healed.
Okay. Now I'd like you to imagine your family in front of you and, and put your hands up again, like we did before and bless them with the excess energy and blessings that are pouring through you from all that we've done so far. So bless your family, your friends, your coworkers, your community with peace and harmony, with healing, with divine light, divine love, divine power. Bless them with prosperity and abundance. Bless them with wisdom, with intuition and guidance, with strong leadership skills. Bless them with healthy self-esteem, healthy self-confidence to take action on their intuition and guidance. Bless them with a much stronger spiritual connection and divine oneness. Bless them with peace and harmony, with compassion, with divine sweetness, tenderness and love. Bless them. Bless them. Thank you, God, for the ongoing help, healing, and blessings for all of us. Amen. Okay, take a few slow, deep breaths, open your eyes with a big smile, and welcome back to our space here for our community. <laughs> Good. How are you feeling? Please unmute yourself or put it in the chat. And you know, y'all are doing okay. <laughs> or more than okay. Super fantastic. <laughs> I see two thumbs up from Naya. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Martina, sleepy. Well, it is 9.30 your time. <laughs> Jeff is relaxed. Wonderful. Yes. Thank, thank you, Tiffany. I feel a lot um, more at peace. You're welcome, June. Good. All right. Um, one little logistical thing. Um, if you guys need or want um, toilet paper, sanitizer, sanitizing wipes, um, I found that Staples had it. I ordered more TP. <laughs> so um, check out office supplies. I know not all groceries or Costco has those kinds of supplies right now, but check out office supplies. And at least Staples was offering free um, shipping. Um, Naya says also Big Lots and 99 cent store in her area, and she's in Santa Monica, California. So, um, yeah, those just wanted to give you that little tip. Christine says Costco same day also was able to deliver. Fantastic. <laughs> so there are supplies that are coming. <laughs> <laughs> and um, are easier and available now and we can have you know some of these things very conveniently delivered okay so ready to shift gears a bit <laughs> okay <laughs> seeing the head nods <laughs> good <laughs> all right so I don't know if you can read this but it says God Talks with Arjuna, the Bhagavad Gita, the Royal Science of God Realization, the Immortal Dialogue Between Soul and Spirit, a new translation and commentary by Paramahansa Yogananda. So 
Um, what I had started last Wednesday was reading one of the 26 soul qualities with his commentary behind it. So in chapter 16 um, of the Bhagavad Gita, which is the second volume, like it's actually <laughs> two big volumes for this little tiny like Bhagavad Gita book because he goes into great detail. Um, and on the quality of peace, so I'm gonna read some of them to you. And just like last week, I want to read, you know, a couple of sentences or a paragraph and then um, have some silence and meditation in between so that we can take it in at a deeper level and then I'll keep going. And as I am doing this reading, I want you to like really bring in these soul qualities, activate them within yourself, have it be something that is just a part of your being, not just something that you cultivate and master, but it's, it's who you are. Because we already do have these at our soul level, our higher soul, and some of them are within us here at this human level, but we have to awaken them and cultivate them and nurture them to have them be stronger. So we did fearlessness last time. I'm going to start with peace, which is number 14 on the list. I'm going to skip around to different qualities as I feel like it. Okay. So peace, <laughs> shanti, <laughs> um, which by the way, the mantra, om shanti, shanti, shanti om is about peace and divinity. So some of these words have like a greater essence to them, okay? So peace, shanti, is a divine quality. A true yogi, one united to the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, Philippians 4, 7, is like a lovely rose spreading around him the fragrance of tranquility and harmony. That sentence actually like really, like I could smell it is like a lovely rose spreading around him the fragrance of tranquility and harmony. Everything in the phenomenal world displays activity and changefulness, but tranquility is the nature of God. Man as a soul has within himself that same nature of calmness. When in his consciousness, he can level and still the three mental states of upheaval the waves of sorrow and gladness, and the dips of indifference between them. He perceives within himself the placid ocean of spiritual soul calmness, expanding into the boundless sea of tranquility in spirit.
Hope you enjoyed peace. I'm going to read on page 964, number 16, compassion towards all beings, Daya, is necessary for divine realization. For God himself is overflowing with this quality. Those with a tender heart can put themselves in the place of others, to feel their suffering, and try to alleviate it. By Daya, the law of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, and the stern extractions of karma are modified. Be still and reflect. If the Lord did not show mercy and give special amnesties and the divine parolees, divine paroles from sin, his erring children would suffer indefinitely life after weary life. Provided a man tries by self-discipline to remove the mountainous load of his past errors, God comes to the rescue. When he feels that his child is sufficiently repentant of his offenses, he destroys the age-old darkness of sin instantaneously by manifesting the liberating light of his presence. Gautama Buddha was an incarnation of mercy. It is told that he even offered his own life to save a goat that had been made ready for a sacrifice. The king who was performing the rite spared the animal's life and became a devout follower of the enlightened one. The human father, if he is wholly guided by the masculine principle of reason, will judge his son's fault according to the law. But the mother, filled with the tenderness of feminine feeling, is a symbol of divine compassion. She will forgive the son even if he is a murderer. Devotees find profuse remission of sins in worshiping God as the ever merciful divine mother instead of as the mathematical minded divine judge who dispenses justice through karmic law.
Very good. Now continue with your intention to deepen all of your soul qualities. And let's also deepen as well as awaken the soul quality of forgiveness. Lord, help us to master forgiveness. Number 22. This one is uh, has six paragraphs. So I'll pause in between each paragraph, okay? It's a little longer than the other ones. So as I read this, forgive yourself, forgive other people, set the intention that you are having the deepest forgiveness experience you've ever had. Any part of your body that is holding on to anger, bitterness, resentment, pain, etc., let it receive forgiveness right now. Page 966, forgiveness. <sighs> Shama is the man of God, con in the man of God consists in not inflicting or wishing to inflict punishment on those who harm or wrong him. He knows that the karmic law will see to it that all injustices are rectified. It is unnecessary and presumptuous to attempt to hasten its workings or to determine their form. Retribution at the hands of the immutable law of karma has for its proper and far-seeing purpose the eventual spiritual redemption of the sinner. This is not to say that wrongdoers should have no curtailment. Social structure demands constraints for its survival. Those whose duty it is to enforce just laws for the well being of humanity act as instruments of karmic law. Their judgments should be meted out without malice or a spirit of revenge. Even if justice does not seem to prevail, the karmic law will not fail to balance the scale. A passage in the Mahabharata is as follows. One should forgive under any injury. It hath been said that the continuation of the species is due to man's being forgiving. Forgiveness is holiness. By forgiveness, the universe is held together. Forgiveness is the might of the mighty. Forgiveness is sacrifice. 
Forgiveness is quiet of mind. Forgiveness and gentleness are the qualities of the self, capital S, self-possessed. They represent eternal virtue. Forgive. When a weak man slapped by a bully says, I forgive you and runs away, he is likely to be motivated not by forgiveness, but by cowardice. When a powerful person hurt by an enemy shows compassion and forbearance instead of crushing that foe, he dispels real forgiveness. The spirit of forgiveness arises from long practice in spiritual discipline and from realization of our inseverable human and divine brotherhood. Just before Mahatma Gandhi died in 1948, he lifted his hands from his bullet-torn body to bestow on the assassin a humble gesture of forgiveness. All of the sacrifices of his selfless life had made possible by that final loving gesture. I wrote in a tribute to the Mahatma. And Gandhi Mahatma Gandhi was a student of Paramahansa Yogananda. That is why, at least one of the reasons why Paramahansa Yogananda wrote that tribute that was shared with his family, with Gandhi's family at his funeral or after his death. Can you imagine? somebody being that violent towards you and yet still having the love and compassion and forgiveness to forgive him right before passing. What a great soul. Jesus, holding the power to summon to his aid more than 12 legions of angels, Matthew 26, 53, did not resist 
arrest and crucifixion and prayed, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Luke 23, 34. With divine insight, he was ever able to see man apart from his errors. Christ had perfect understanding that each human, each human being is essentially a soul, a child of God, whose evil conduct is no expression of his real nature, but is caused by ignorance, not knowing, the dread but not eternal state of delusion into which men fall when they forget their true identity. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Forgive yourself and others. Good. Now form the intention that these soul qualities that we talked about today, that you embody them at even deeper levels going forward. Let today be the new minimum amount that you be and express in the world. And just to take a quick poll, did you enjoy today's topic? Do you want me to continue with more soul qualities next Wednesday? Or would you like a different kind of topic? So I'm here to serve. Let me know what would best work for you. Please unmute or put it in the chat. I like soul qualities. Okay, Jeff, thank you. Christine says wonderful. And I second the soul qualities. <laughs> okay, June's a yes, great. <laughs> Maribel and mom are thumbs up, okay, got it. <laughs> Maribel typed it in the chat too. <laughs> 
with a big old heart and Steph says, I need more soul qualities in my life. <laughs> good, good. Okay, so I get the theme <laughs> and the request. Um, and Naya said, enjoyed especially the forgiveness topic because I discovered that I liked forgiving the people who had touched all the doorknobs I have to touch in order to enter or exit my condo building. Good girl. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> um, and if you don't already have a small thing, uh, container spray bottle like this, I would order some. You can, what's stronger right now would be to put vodka in it and <laughs> spray all the doorknobs as you walk in and out of the building, just as like service. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else from anyone? Thank you, Tiffany. You're welcome, June. And just to let you know, some of the other qualities that I haven't read yet are purity of heart, steadfastness, almsgiving, self-restraint, religious rites, right, study of scriptures, self-discipline, straightforwardness, non-injury, truth, absence of wrath, renunciation, absence of fight folding, fight fault finding, <laughs> non-covetedness, absence of greed, gentleness, modesty, absence of restlessness, radiance of character, patience <laughs> or fortitude, um, cleanness of body and purity of mind, non-hatred, lack of conceit. So those are more of the 26 soul qualities that we haven't even gotten to. <laughs> Tiffany, can you buy the book at the Realization Center? Or? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, you can buy um, this book, God Talks with Arjuna, the Bhagavad Gita, at um, Yogananda dot org that's um paramahansa yogananda's website and there's a bookstore i'm not sure um if they are sending out books right now because they did have a shutdown as well um but you could put in your order and they'll send it out as soon as you know they can and and maybe let there be less restrictions after Friday for our area. I, I heard that that might happen. Um, also, if you have signed up for my mentor program called Embodiment, Conscious Creation, Love and Empowerment, it's a six month program that starts the beginning of June, the first Wednesday of June. I am thinking about giving an audio recording that I have of me reading all 26 qualities and doing it in that meditative, reflective space. It's not something that I ever sell. Like that's, like this is get the book for sure get the book but i um i recorded it for my own purposes like i wanted to hear those qualities over and over again so i dictated them <laughs> and recorded them when i was at a spiritual retreat um and if you're in my mentor program and you request it all, I'll send you a copy. And a lot of you right now are already in it, um, but if not, and you're curious about it, this is the link. So just go to highlyperceptivepeopleacademy.com 
forward slash embodiment or just look in the menu on highly perceptive people academy dot com and you'll find it and you do more topics and group healing and um, laser coaching for an hour and a half on the first and third Wednesdays of the month and some other benefits and perks and bonuses depending on what level you sign up for. So just putting that out there in case anybody's interested. And if you feel inclined to want to give a love donation for, you know, the series that I've been doing, um, feel free to send it via Zelle or PayPal. And um, I look forward to being with you again on Saturday and we'll include our community connection questions. I you know, I try to find some juicy questions that are not, you know, surface level, hey, how are you kind of questions, but, you know, they get us deeper thinking and, um, yeah, that's why it's like conscious community <laughs> connection questions. <laughs> ah, okay, well, much love and blessings to you. I'm going to go on my evening walk now and water my garden and my greeny baby plants and see you next time. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>